power really is the reason for oppression. Those with power seek to hold on to the power and use that power to oppress those who do not have the power. So we have uh, our cultural norms that are very strong uh, that expect women not to speak, especially if you're a young woman, you're meant to be seen and not to be heard. So we are never trained to be powerful women who lead, but we are trained to be women who support. Why is it that uh, women are not paid as much as men? Why is it that um, boys ha go to school and girls get to stay at home? Why is it that from, as a young woman from Zimbabwe, I have to be married earlier and not pursue a career and go to university? It's, it's a, a power struggle. There's somebody out there. It's patriarchy that still defines what is a woman. And I suppose the idea that one group has the the right to impose its will on others, that, that notion is, is problematic. It's really the idea of constraints. These oppressive systems constrain us. Um, they make it hard for us to breathe or to move or even to imagine, which I think is one of the worst things. You can't really think about doing something differently because you're just so constrained. She can't say no and be taken seriously. She can't get rid of uh, an unwanted pregnancy. She can't get access to certain kinds of information or care. In terms of accessing justice for women, a black woman who has been raped, the reality is that her experience of accessing justice is going to be far more difficult or hard than it is for somebody who, for example, is more socioeconomically empowered. And that's, that's a result of capitalism, and it's also a result of patriarchy, which does not value women's work. So oppressions based on gender, and based on decisions about what one wants to do with one's body.